Hey everybody, this is Jeff at Build an Aquarium Workshop, and uh, today we're going to go ahead and finally get to this 75 gallon uh, uh, Lake Tanganyikan cichlid tank. Uh, this one's a show tank, it's going to feature mainly Lampralogus species, and when we get the fish in, we'll acclimate them, we'll show you how to acclimate them, we'll get them in the tank. Uh, for you and show you what they look like and probably follow up in a day or two once they've settled in uh, Start getting their color back and feel more at home, uh, but for now so on the 75 gallon I, I'm excited been waiting to set this up. So um, Again, if you watched that last episode, you know that we're going to use that oregonite sand uh, So that's what we have. We have three bags of oregonite sand by Carib C. The same stuff that we have down below that we used. So we got 45 pounds. We might come up a little bit short, but that's okay. We can always go back and buy more if we need it. Okay. So and again, it just depends how uh, thick you want the substrate. And the other thing, we're using oregonite just to remind you that it buffers the water, which means it's going to keep it very, very uh, alkaline, uh, which is what these fish require. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And the other thing we'll do today is I want to show you a couple pieces of rock that are going to go in there. Um, so they're pretty big. This is a huge piece of slate. Looks pretty big. Um, we are gonna, if we have to, we'll break it down. I'm gonna take a hammer maybe to this. Uh, if we have to, we've got three pieces and one, this isn't the biggest piece. Uh, so you can see it'll probably fit in there. Um, but we definitely wanna, we definitely wanna break up a couple, uh, and make a couple, a couple more rocks if we can. And then there is this, uh, this Mexican reef rock. Um, can't remember the exact name. It's pretty cool too. This stuff works really, really great for cichlids. Um, any African cichlids especially. Uh, it's got lots of little nooks and crannies and holes and things like that. Uh, so we have a couple pieces of that as well that we'll probably use in there. Um, it's a 75 gallon, so we're gonna need a lot of rock uh, for hiding places. We'll probably eventually try to stack it up at least to the middle level if we can. If we can get a couple piece, pieces higher, we will. Uh, so that's that as well. And then um, we have the penguin by Marine Land uh, Bio Wheel 330. Uh, here you can't really see it, but um, we're going to do, I'm going to take it off and we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to put it together um, and clean it up. And of course, for filtration, you want the best filtration. Um, for, for the value that this is, um, it's great. I don't mind doing water changes. We have, I also have a really strong power head uh, that I'm using in a saltwater tank. I ordered two of them. And there, this one will shoot. This power head right here will shoot four feet across. This is four feet. This whole tank, so it's going to shoot most of the way, if not the whole way, and bounce off the other glass. So it's going to create a strong current, which the cichlids like, believe it or not. Most of them, not all of them, but we'll put it. It'll be up higher. It'll get the water very, very oxygenated, which is good. As well as using this bio wheel, we'll have lots of bacteria. Um, so for the price, it is a good option. However, uh, the you know lower maintenance uh, would be, uh, especially if you're going to stock the aquarium very very full, which we're not. But if you did, um, if you had big cichlids or goldfish or lots of fish, you'd probably want to do some sort of wet dry below, wet dry filter. Um, that would be probably your best bet. A canister would be okay too. I would say in this order, uh, this bio wheel, um, which is made for this size of a tank, or the canister just make sure the on the flow rate what size aquarium it's uh, made for um, and then the wet dry filter um, and in which case if you do a wet dry you can buy them made you can make your own um, buy them from somebody who will make one for you okay, um, just make sure they got the right pump in there and you're gonna have all the plumbing uh, an overfull box unless of course you've drilled the tank uh, I keep it simple and I don't mind doing water changes uh, the better filtration system you have the less maintenance, the less water changes you're probably going to have to do. Uh, these Lake Tanganyika cichlids do like very, very pristine water, some of them. So the more water changes we do, the better. We're not going to do big water changes. Um, what we'll probably end up doing is uh, sometimes 10% water changes, 20%, uh, maybe a quarter, 25%. You know, you can roughly eyeball the aquarium and say, hey, this is, you know, halfway. Uh, so then that's 25%. Of course, the other way is you figure out it's 75 gallons of water. So if you did 10%, it'd be seven and a half gallons. 
you have a five gallon bucket. So one and a half of those five gallon buckets is a 10% water change. So, you know, very easy math, but you can do it in your head and decide what you're gonna do. Um, the more frequent regular water changes, the better, but then they could probably be smaller. Um, and then sometimes it's good to do a bigger water change if it's necessary once, once in a while. Sometimes that helps, depending on the fish, sometimes it helps them uh, get going for breeding. Not something we're gonna worry about on this tank, this is a show tank, we're only gonna have uh, one of each species, that's it. We don't have to worry about uh, trying to pair up fish, um, nothing like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, cut open these sand bags of sand and we'll put them in there, uh, place a couple of the rocks in there and see what that looks like. Okay, so we just put in uh, 45 pounds of sand, which looks pretty good. It's pretty much up to the bottom um, frame. And then I put in on the left is a... Uh, that huge piece of slate, I've got three of them, that's one of them, that's uh, the smallest one. And then on the right, just so you can see the difference, is the uh, reef rock. Um, and so that one's pretty cool for making caves. Uh, you start stacking them up, they come in all sorts of unique shapes and sizes. Whereas the slate, um, the slate, you know, it, it uh, you, you, when you stack them up, and you'll see that as I break uh, smaller pieces up and stack them you'll see that 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 can be pretty cool too especially for open water fish but you can make some crevices in there in caves as well the way you stack it um, to make some of the uh, rock dwelling fish happy all right so uh, so I don't think we're gonna end any more sand for now we'll think about it if we want to put any more sand in there but I think we're good for now um, all we're waiting on is uh, we don't have the light we do have the heater of course, we're going to have to put the water in the tank first, set up the heater and the filter, um, and then uh, we'll order the light and get the fish in. All right, so um, next step is to go ahead and let me show you the filter. Okay, so here's the Penguin BioWheel 330 by Marineland. Um, I've opened it up for you, kept it on the tank. So this is the front piece, it goes up right here where the bio wheels are. This is the back piece, okay? So that's the lid. These are the bio wheels. The bio wheels um, insert right here into these two. And if you don't have it in there, you'll see that these don't spin, maybe at all. In the beginning, they're new, so it's not a problem. They're gonna spin pretty fast. They slow down, um, and when they're working correctly, they'll move, pause, move, pause, like that when they start having getting filled with lots of bacteria here in here in these regions okay and then that's the back of the filter where the water goes and then the intake tube is right here so they gave us a package for the intake just got to put that together and then you get two cartridges one for each side okay so one for each side um, we're going to take these out and we're going to go ahead and rinse them out really good under the water in the tub um, just make sure it rinses clean uh, this is a blue pad to uh, which captures uh, your particles and then inside is the carbon which is your water purifier it's what keeps the water crystal clear okay and that has to be replaced so a lot of people make it easy and they just take these and they replace them every month um, or you can you know if you're on a budget you could cut them open um, and you could put in uh, fresh carbon dump out the old carbon put in fresh carbon you could rubber band it up and then put it back in there so that the carbon doesn't come out uh, and there you go. And that way you could buy the carbon in bulk, which is saving money. Um, or if you just don't want to deal with that, you can go ahead and change these out every month. But if you do do the other route, uh, the carbon's good for about three months usually. So you can get at least three months out of the carbon and keep reusing these pads. These pads will last for a really long time. I've used pads for like a year, so that's not a problem. But again, if you want to make it easy, you just take these and you throw them away. And then you go buy, make sure you buy the brand new ones first. Uh, throw these away and put the new ones, rinse them out and put them in and you're good to go. And if you do that on a regular monthly schedule, you'll you'll always have crystal clear water. That, keep up with your water changes and you'll be good to go. Okay, so we're going to okay, go so ahead here's the, and um, Marineland uh, BioWheel Penguin 350 back on the tank inserted. And you're going to see that the tube goes all the way down. And that one piece that's uh, over there, uh, up in the middle section, has a little lever. That's just uh, to decrease flow rate if you need to, okay? So that's the intake strainer. The intake tube goes all the way up into the filter. And I've taken these uh, lids off here so you can take a look the proper way. So now, for now, when you rinse these off, you take little wrap, wrappers off, like I said, and then you just rinse them off with water. It doesn't matter, cold water, lukewarm water, it's not gonna matter. But in the future, when these are going and you have lots of bacteria here, you gotta be careful. You can't just take them and power rinse them because then you're gonna blow all your bacteria off of there. And if you put them in hot water uh, or cold water, you know, you'll kill them. 
and then you know we worked hard to get these uh, bacteria on here to uh, help with uh, you know neutralizing the fish's waste so we really uh, when it comes time to changing these the very first time not changing them but rinsing them out it takes quite a while um, so they're gonna be good it's not a monthly thing they'll be good to go for quite some time but if it builds up a lot of gook here a lot of stuff then we'll go ahead and gently put them in a bucket in our own water and uh, rinse them off that way and then put them back okay now the filter cartridges got to put them in the right way there's two grooves in the back there's the first groove here and then there's a second groove right there sorry let me move this over so as actually you can see it there there's two grooves okay one here and one there and so that's for extra filter media you can always go buy um, an, a more media and put it in there okay uh, make sure you put them the blue cartridges facing back it tells you that in the instructions and the carbon facing front the water comes through hits the pad first then the carbon and then you got crystal clear water coming through the um, bio wheels and back into the tank okay um, okay, so, so here's your tank and you can 75 gallon tank and you can cichlid tank uh, show tank update uh, with you a little more aquascaping as you can see we've got all the rocks in there now that we have um, still looks kind of empty uh, could definitely use more rocks so uh, we broke down some of the pieces of slate so instead of having three large pieces we've got still two large pieces and then one we broke into some smaller pieces so you can see them right there and we've just kind of stacked them um, We've made a couple little crevices and caves here for some of the fish. They'll be babies when they come in. And so that's what it looks like. Uh, we've kind of integrated the slate with the um, with that um, reef rock. Uh, I think it looks pretty good, it looks pretty natural. And so I just wanted to go ahead and show you that. Uh, the fish are gonna do their own little aquascaping, moving the sand around um, and making their own little caves. But uh, you know, sometimes it, it pays to help them out in the start. Uh, when they first come in uh, to the tank okay we so i'm um, showing you here's one way to fill it up since it's 75 gallons it's going to take a lot of water um and so we're uh, doing the garden hose thing and we have it hooked up out towards a window here as you can see through the backyard so this is a great option um we're going to fill it up here just it's as you can see you can see a little bit of the water line there in the bottom we're going to fill it up uh, not too far make sure it's level because it's looking pretty level right now both uh, side to side and then if it looks good we will continue to fill all the way up to the top I uh, might leave a little room for some extra rocks that we're gonna buy this weekend all right anyway I just wanted to update you and show you that we're getting there getting close to uh, ordering the fish okay so I went ahead and put it um, down uh, put the heater in there. It's not on yet. We like we said, we're gonna acclimate it to the water. Water is really really cold. Uh, 10 to 15 minutes, and there you go. There it is. The power head working great. Shooting. It's actually bank banking on this front window glass, and then back toward the other filter. So it's creating some probably some pretty um, pretty good flow there. So okay. So that's what I wanted to show you. Now all that's left to do is we're gonna oh one more thing i'm gonna put this off in a water conditioner it's a packet it came we use that other one usually doesn't really matter we're gonna use the whole packet to water condition we're gonna actually have this tank set up here for the weekend um before we even bother um putting any fish in anyway so we won't order the fish till monday or tuesday and probably won't get them in till till wednesday or so and then we'll come back and we'll show you um how to acclimate fish okay Thanks for watching here.